I'll start us. My friends, welcome back here to another edition of Date Your Wife with your co-hosts, Garrett J. White. And you can't wait. Oh. You have to actually talk. <laughs> your name is? My name is, what do you want it to be? Ooh, Mercedes. No. No. What is your name for real? My, my. <laughs> have you I'm, gotten your name on for the, here on the Cinco hey guys, de Mayo it's episode? it's Danielle White here, the uh, host. I'm the host, and You're this the is host my today. co-host. I'm the co-host. Uh, Mr. Garrett J. White. The wing man. The wing man. The wing man. To date your wife tonight. Yes, I don't even know what episode number this is. 75. Number? No, that's no. not. I know for sure it's not number 75. It's like number 17 or something like that. All right, so listen, here's the deal. If you're new to the show, welcome to the podcast with myself and Danielle White. We are... Currently managing the game of living the warrior's way to having it all. Running two businesses, three children, building empires on both sides of the equation, and at the same time, wanting and desiring and committed to the have it all lifestyle. So if you are here for the very first time, welcome to the show. We are not licensed therapists. We are not uh, child psychologists, parenting pe- parenting professionals. We are simply two entrepreneurs with, well, a lot of shit that we figured out. And here on this show, we like to call it our weekly therapy. So, why is this? A, why? Why do you? Why Garrett, is this our weekly me, therapy? Tell me, Garrett. Why do we do this show? Oh, I like it. You took over the host position. Well done. Well, you know, Danielle, I've been waiting for a, waiting for minutes now for you to ask me that question. Let me uh, let me lay it down straight. Here's the deal: being married is hard, right? There's no simple steps to it. There's no three secret steps to success in being married. Being married, it can be a complete fucking shit show, and it can be amazing all at the same time. Most marriages end up in complete sedation and disconnection and or divorce. Mm -hmm. Our commitment is to create something a little bit better than that. That is what this show is. A little more spice. A little more spice. Less roommate mode, more spice. Less roommate, more spice. Let's continue on that topic for me really quickly. What do you mean by less roommate, more spice? I was talking, we we had a class this last week for, it was a hair class, but we also teach business and mindset. And it always comes up like people will ask like how do you guys like keep your relationship going or like what works for you and Garrett and I are very different I feel like we have a lot of similarities but we're also <laughs> we we're also I feel like the more we're married I'm like oh we the more we're married we become so you one kind of stole yeah you kind of like we mold become one into flesh. one but but no Continue. I just I just think that um I just think that I lost my train oh, of thought. Oh, shit. You lost your train of <laughs> well, thought. I always do that. That's I, why I'm here. I'm your backup. I I'm your wing I forgot what I was man. talking about even. Um, you were talking about being at BMS Mastermind, and we had a, a student who had some challenges with marriage. And oh, yeah. we, we sat down and questioned, and we get asked this all the time by our students inside of the hair world, which is how do you manage the game of being married? Now, it's particularly— Oh, yeah. This, that's where okay, I was going. Okay. There, See, now God, you're back. That's ADD. why I'm here. So, well, I, there was like one couple or one girl that was like, you know, I just don't know. Like things are, are good. We really respect each other and we really like each other. And I was like, well, it found, sounds like things are good. Then why are you asking for input? But from getting like her general vibe, I feel like she was kind of asking like, why is there no spark? Because you can mm-hmm. be comfortable with somebody and you can like respect them and you're like certain personalities could like they just like genuinely like like each other and they don't really fight and like things are good. But they might get into this place of like, yeah, I'm I'm there's not that dating spark. Boredom. Not even boredom, but not like boredom. You just maybe like I got the sense that there was like not like a spark. And as we started, which we, is boredom, we continue to talk with her. I was like, well. What, you know, what do you like to do for your date nights? And and she'd say, you know, both of us are just homebodies and we work all the time because her and her, her boyfriend or husband, I don't know, but they're both entrepreneurs also. And they're like, you know, we just want to like put on sweats and do Netflix and chill. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I get it. Like when you work, like that's what I like to do too. And that's why date nights is so cool because it's like the two days or the two nights a week because we mm-hmm. try to go on at least one to two. Yep. And it's like the two nights where I actually like, Get dressed up. Get, get a little dressed up. And I used to not and you get, get as, excited to dress uh, yeah, up. Yeah, well, and I used to not get as dressed up. But now, like, I love fashion. I love clothes. And now it like now it's like the day that I get excited, it's like an excuse for me to be like, oh, I can get ready and not wear sweats anymore. So um, I don't know. I just think it's important to kind of, like, play that role as if you were still dating. I think a lot of people, like, even if you met somebody who's super similar to you, in the beginning of dating, you're not always going to – you're not going to – a guy's not going to ask you out on a date and you're going to put on your best Lulu pants. Like, no. let's be real. You might you, if they – I mean, you might if you were going to I the mean, gym. I mean, if you were going skydiving or to the gym or, like, yes. something sporty. But if he's like, hey, I'm going to come take you to dinner, like, you're not going to wear sweatpants. No. Like, 
you're just not and i don't care if you're super casual or not and so there's this like etiquette when you're dating like dating dating for real that kind of goes out the window when you're married and so people are always wondering like how come there's not a spark and i'm like well do you go out and they're like yeah we totally go out we we wore our sweats and went to movies last week and i'm like listen i love movies too but we oftentimes like i still like to dress up like feel good go out talk connect and then maybe if there's time left over then we'll go to a movie you know mm-hmm. so I don't know. And then there's other situations like for Garrett and I, we um, we never we don't ever get in this place of like boredom because if we get in like this boredom place, it's scary. Yeah, it's no good. It's like for us, it's like, ooh, because we collide. We can collide a lot like our personalities are like really good. But then we can also really piss each other off. There can Mm -hmm. be that tension. So we're not really ever bored. We're either like (laughs) we're either like excited or there's there's just a lot of spice in our marriage. Like, let's just put it that way. But here's the the thing inside of the the communication game. People think that spice sometimes is like what they're trying to get rid of. And I mean, because spice spice to me when I define spice. What I'm talking about is arguments, disagreements. I'm talking about giggling, laughing, joking, having fun, getting angry at each other, fighting, battling, uh, debating, having crucial conversations, except like it's everything. Spice is not just, oh my God, I'm in love with you. No, I would def- I definitely think I was saying spice in like the sense that like we go to war sometimes. I wasn't saying spice like we're all googly eye for each other sugar and usually spice. spice is like i fucking hate you and then it ends in like i fucking love you so and then it ends in you know what same word just continues a third time only ends with an nobody ing. saw that coming garrett nobody but nobody every man listening to this coming. show said garrett just take it there please the third base they didn't just swing it on around they didn't say that bring it on home mm-hmm. garrett Bring it I don't on. I think that home. happened at all. <laughs> okay, so communication uh, is our topic today, and um, obviously we're starting off strong and uh, strong here with the communication game. Communication, though, inside of this game of spice, we're going to talk about. Uh, I don't know because I have a few topics in mind, but Danielle told me on the drive over that she was she was ready to host this with the most well, you know, because one of your guys, one of our Garrett, listeners Garrett said I talk, to talk too much. Over me. Well, go for it. It's. It's, I'm ready. Okay. Give it to us, host So Danielle. our topic with communication this week is if you're in roommate mode, does that mean you need to have communication? Can you communicate by simply sitting there? What is your love language? Because for me, Garrett is very much like he needs to be told like I love you, which most like like I'm not saying I don't say that, but he'll say you that. You don't to, say that too much. I don't, but then even like to people like in my family or I work with, he's like, tell them you love them. And I'm like, they should fucking know I love them. So I communicate, my communication is different. So is your communication verbal or is your communication silent? And is one wrong and one right? Because for years, you thought that my communication was incorrect and something was wrong with me and that I was broken. (laughs) <laughs> we've already so proven it is. We've proven that Garrett knows how to talk <laughs> over me, clearly. But let's be real. What is your form of com- communication? Mine? Not necessarily. Like, I don't have to, like, hash it out sometimes. Sometimes I can just, like, hang out and soak it in and just kind of, like, it's more like acts of service. And, like, you kind of, like, communication can be not, like, just speaking. Like, communication to me, like, you can communicate through a gift. You can communicate through time. You can communicate through sex. So communication can really open up to be what is your love language? What is your form of communication that works for you and not necessarily just talking? So we've uh, we've talked about this before on the communication topic. We've mm. come. You like you like this love. How language. do you like them apples? Like I just gave you a solid topic there. You did. You you gave me a solid topic. You looped it, closed it. Put a bow on it, package it up, shipped it to Timbuktu. Now, what would you like to talk about? I'm out of ideas. <laughs> okay. No, no, like I. We're, just... Okay, we're going to come to a topic. You ready? It's inside of this. It's inside of this. Uh, what What do you do then with the fact that, for example, my love language is tell me I'm awesome. Right? It's uh, words of affirmation. But you don't like to do that. So, talk to me about okay. how Let do you confront you ex- with this, with the sense that I love. The fact that you say it, but you rarely okay. say it. Let me, let me reframe that real quick and say one thing that I noticed that Garrett does is he writes me like notes every morning. And like I, I wake up and I expect like a note. And it's usually like, you're awesome. This is great. Like, I love you. We're creating amazing shit together. And I'm like, I usually just heart emoji it. And then, or I'll say like, love you. 
and I don't really I don't really expand on that and so he came to me and he said do you like those notes and I said do you like to give me those notes and he said yes I do and I said well then continue to do it so I'm just saying like even though your your love language may be like words of affirmation but if by giving me or somebody you love words of affirmation if it makes you happy then you should continue to do it as well so but what about what about receiving the the language the way you like it Receive. like for example you saying and sending me messages the other direction my love language is it, that's like saying you should masturbate and pretend like you had sex with me it would make you feel full right you want to have sex no, right no, no i wasn't saying that i was just saying that like there, that's basically what you're saying if no, i have to text to myself be, no there has to be some acknowledgement that it does something for you too does it not does it do something for you when i yeah. masturbate oh i know no okay well and it, it, that's it, a, that's like apples and oranges i'm gonna put do it, eh on does, that one so let's move it, on there does it do anything, does it do anything for you because this is my show and i'm pretty sure you can't talk <laughs> over me remember i'm the host so let's revisit that conversation okay so where were we i don't know you're the host okay so back to <laughs> does that do anything for you what does in it does, sending, does what? In, if you were to tell yeah, it somebody, actually, yeah, it does. Because, I love you. You're the man. But it You're this. But, does it do yeah, anything for you? Yes, but it okay. doesn't. But that's not me giving to myself. Like I'm giving to myself at a not? certain level because I'm sending the message. But at the end of if the day, if I have sex with you, I'm also giving to myself. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes you're giving to yourself. So where is your argument here? I, well, I'm waiting. Well, I, well daily I'm you should have sex this. with me as much. I, I am text waiting you. for this. <laughs> Listen, your your love language is buying you shit. It isn't. It is. I can buy my own shit. I know that, but you still want my me to buy your shit. My love language is quality time, which sometimes lead into bu buying shit. And honestly, like I even get to this place where, when when with even say like for example, if your love language is gifts, I I have a hard time too when if. I don't know. I, I think like sometimes like buying gifts can be hard for me because I'm like, no, I, got, I can do it. I can do it. I can buy my own gift. It's okay. But then I have, there's like this element of like receiving. Like if somebody's like, I'm going to buy you a gift, you have to be like cool with receiving as well. Okay. So let's come back to this. Okay. So if, if, if you're talking on this love <laughs> language game, the, the whole purpose of the book Love Languages, which by the way, you've never read. I did read it actually. N no, you did not read I the did. whole book. You read the whole book. No, not the whole book. Exactly. But you I read the read back it. cover. No, I didn't. You I probably got, listened I to a, a YouTube video four minutes long <laughs> no, that explained I, the book. I think I read like most of it. I There was maybe like read a third of it. Read most of it? Is your nose getting longer right now, Pinocchio? Is yours? No, my I nose know, is okay, not because I've read the book. I know more about it than you do, so clearly. Oh, you do? You do? I do. <laughs> okay, so tell me the five love, love languages. Time. Okay, one. Gifts. Okay, good. Uh, word communication or words of affirmation. Okay. And then touch or yeah. I can't remember the other one. And mm -hmm. then. One more. Five love languages. Okay, what's the last one? Do you know? I've, I can't give you the answer. You don't even know. I do know. What is it? But come back to the very first one again. Think about it. You have acts of service. Okay, time. You have words of affirmation. You have quality time. You have physical touch. What could be the final number Communi five? I don't know. I actually don't know either. I'm forgetting Oh right my now. God, you're <laughs> such a... <laughs> it's something. It must not be either one yeah. of ours. Who read the book? What is cool. yours? What is yours? Um, I because am Because I, I, I literally don't know. I'm an enigma. Okay, what does enigma mean? You're I'm all of them? No, I, yeah, I am. I your think physical I am. touch? I am. You are. I'm all of at them. At 6 a.m.? I know you never sleep in. And sleeping I, in is bullshit. I know. You know what's so funny? There has been so it's many bullshit times. Bullshit sleeping in. And he, you will not sacrifice your surfing. Surfing. So what does that say about me? It says that I make love to the ocean because she accepts me every morning. I would accept you. Not you would every accept morning. me every morning. Every morning if I slept mm -hmm. in, you would accept me. I would like. I would go for a good solid three times a week. Three times a week in the morning, including, in the morning. and then some other times at night. Sure. Like five times a week then. If you came to me in the morning, I'm, I'm. If I I'm came just to like, you in the morning? No. <laughs> if you. <laughs> I, I just. You don't even know where to go with that. I'm like the host listening. that you wish you could get rid of. The co-host. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Okay, let's move. We're coming let's, back on this. No, we're be... still we're still on the same topic though, because like okay. today's show is gonna be a lot shorter than normal. Mm. So we've got to really bring this home know, in the next like seven home. minutes. It's a shit show today. It's not a shit show. Okay. You were the host. It's never a shit show <laughs> when you're the host. <laughs> okay. Such a dick all so, the time. No, not a dick. Not a dick. Have a dick, but not one. So mm. here's the deal. Okay, sometimes okay. a dick, sometimes. but not right now. 
So here, here's the thing I'm still trying to get, get clear from you, though. You're saying, then, that if my love language is words of affirmation, that I should just words of affirmation myself and not ever expect to get words of affirmation from you as my partner. Is this what you're saying? Um, No. What are you saying, then? No, I don't. Because point... everyone in the entire world that's listening to the show oh, is confused right now. No, and they'd like to know no, what you're really not. Thinking. They're not confused. The only point that I was making is like sometimes if you don't like gifts, you have to be open to receiving. Sometimes if you don't, if you're you like communication or if you like words of affirmation, you have to acknowledge that that like does something for you too. Otherwise, you wouldn't continue to do it. Okay, so I'm still trying to follow. How so, are you lost I, I'm here? Not lost All here. I'm saying the okay, only g- point I was trying again. to make okay, is if if you want words of affirmation for your love language yes. and you give them done to somebody else, how that also okay, benefits so that, you. Okay, for sure. So That's what about the other side saying. though? What about the other side, which is expecting your spouse to know your love language and have that person yeah. want to give to you in your language? Mm. Why don't you send me texts with lots of I, I love you, I think like you're the text? man. I'm being I would honest. love texts. I would love you to send me a message every day that said, and you've even done it. You've sent me a couple where it's just a couple, like one sentence. I love you. I'm so proud of you. You even mm. sent some long texts where you're like, go get them, fuck them up kind of texts, like go to war for me. And I'm like. Yeah, sometimes I do that. Yeah, well, like twice in the last six months. But Mondays, like, but Mondays why, was my day to do that. I'd like, but why don't you do this? If you, you know, know this like when works I'm, for me, how come you, know you don't what? do it? I like to, when, I'm, when I sent you those texts, yeah. like that I know you're thinking about, mm-hmm. it's like I can tell you're like pissed at work or something. And I, it's almost like. I want to come in and be like, no, you're awesome. You don't need to get pissed at this. You're the man. Like, here's why. It's like I want to like, if I don't think to do it unless I notice like like something's bugging you. And then I come in like any woman would and like try to be a problem solver and a supporter and a cheerleader at that point. And so. But sending just regular for you, it doesn't even cross I'll, your mind. Um, Like I'll send you like a love you, but I don't, it, I don't know. Like literally every morning, like yours is really long. It's really long. It's like three sentences. It's No. It looks long because it's on your cell phone. Why don't you read them what I sent you today? Okay. Let's give them some examples of All the right communication team. I give you. Let's read the last couple of days because they're good. No, I, no, I don't no, have no. my phone, so I'm I not can't. Read the last couple of days. All right, great. read today. Danielle, our lives are magical. I'm sitting on the couch writing this to you while the waves are crashing outside our door. I'm living with you and all three of my children in our dream home on the beach. I have friends coming in 30 minutes to go surf. I actually know how to surf. And you have never been better. It's an amazing game, isn't it? The entire journey of life. It's insane, but amazing at the same time. You are starting to rise as a leader inside your salon. I have waited for this my waited th- for this for a while. It's so amazing, so amazing to see and watch you choose to take massive to to take a massive stand for who you are and what you want to be. I love you, G. That is a long paragraph. I'm telling you right now, there's about there's there's a few million women who just like started crying. They thought it was like the notebook. <laughs> oh my god. They're like as a fucking notebook style text message. But that yeah, doesn't do anything for you. I, like you read this and you like it love doesn't you. No, you push the button and the emoji no. came up. Did you send me love you? Love you. Oh yeah, and you did send me. And then the last one you sent me? Yeah. Oh, weird. Love red you. Red heart. You put a red heart emoji. Well, that's the same let's thing. Read them I was the last, let's read them the last. Let's read them from yesterday so the guys have some ideas cuz oh, some love of them Love you. Another but one. Here's it though. Some guys don't send messages oh, to their wives. Love you. I love you. Now read the one from yesterday. Um, I don't remember what that one was about. This one seems long. I've learned that I don't really text you sexual stuff because that that never goes over well. You're going to send me a <laughs> I was going to send you a dick pic. <laughs> I like no. I didn't say I didn't mean that. I was talking about like texting messages, like sexually um, flirting with you. Okay, what, what are, are you, you wearing? What are you wearing? I never send that text. Why, Garrett? I've never sent that are text. Are you wearing the red panties or the blue ones? Garrett! <laughs> <laughs> you, listen, I love that you're screwing around. Read for real what I sent. Okay. Go. Here we go. This is round number two. This was yesterday. Do you want yesterday. me to read because you... I know I want the guys this because there's some guys that are married Do to you? women who are who are married who are married to women who need verbal words of affirmation and they do few, not send them. Every, every, very few women are like that. I don't know. That is complete I bullshit. Know. You that say is complete I don't bullshit. know women, but I own a salon. And you do know women. I didn't I, say that. I think it, it doesn't like there. I might say be you some, choose to see certain things in women okay. because it's the way you see them. Read it. Let's go. Well, I know. Women. This is a message from yesterday. Today we need you for photos. What kind of time can you do this? Can you co- coordinate with Ani? On that note, I want you to know this today. Your focus on perfection is amazing. What I mean is your critical eye is amazing when it comes to beauty. I don't like the word critical eye. I'm just going to... 
No, but it's critical eye. Okay. That's my message. Just read it. I was it. Okay. Stop editing. Go. I have never really given you the praise you deserve for that gift, and it affects everyone on your team in a positive way. I am your Play-Doh. Keep cutting away. One of the reasons that I am able to grow so fast is because of you, assisting me to the higher version of me. Thank you, G. Okay, these are very nice notes. Did I say Could, thank you? You said, I don't know. I didn't say thank you. You did. I said thank you, G. <laughs> you said thank you, No, I G. did not. Let me see. You really did. Holy thank shit. You. I said thank you, love you. Thank you. You love skipped you. that love you. See how you <laughs> skipped that love you? You even skipped the fucking love you. I. Yes, you did. Okay. All right. So this is not backing you in a yeah, corner. I feel like I'm... you're trying to. No, throw no, no, me no, under no, the bus. no. I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. I'm trying to get mm. clear on this idea. You are. You're saying then, knowing my love language, you still don't want to do it. Physical touch, words of affirmation. No, you're I just... like, I don't really give a shit. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that you're at saying all. I should. I so you like say I that a person to... should service themselves no, in their own I try love to cross, language. I try to cross that line, but there's some. Some like with communication, I feel like it's not through a text. Like us doing this podcast together, yeah. us going on date night for me, that's like that's where that's quality time. That's qu- quality time, but it's also communication, so it hits yeah. both of us. When you send me those, I like them, but it, you got to understand too. It's like right in the morning at five thirty in the morning when I click my not five thirty. Let's be honest, six thirty in the morning when I click my phone off airplane mode, and I'm like, oh, that was nice. My brain's like still waking up, and then I have to let you know, like from six thirty to seven thirty, as a mm-hmm. mom with two kids trying to get them out the door, is right. an absolute shit show, and I don't care how much you prepare the I night before. I agree. Like literally, and I am the type of person that I won't just like make. You probably have met. Meditated by that time, you've answered seventy-five emails. And surf for an hour. No, no, no. You haven't surfed by the time you wrote that. So oh, no, you no. probably like, and, and you wake up like you you set time aside to do that. I'm like, I don't really have that time. I mean, I could maybe send it like, I don't know when I could send that. I could send it at o'clock? night. I don't know, but it. Ten thirty. I pro no. I go to bed at that time usually. No, ten thirty in the morning. No, I could. I really couldn't. Usually, I go into the salon. Oh. I go in. Anyways, but if I sent it, that that's a good that's a good scenario. If I sent that to you at ten thirty in the morning, what yeah. would you be doing? At ten thirty in the morning, I would read that. I would say thank you very much. I you love you. You would be in the middle of your work day, and I okay. wouldn't get a response. And then I might get a response that night, but probably not. You'd probably like be stressed when you go home from work, and you'd just say like, "Oh, love you. Thank you for sending that to me." I guarantee. It's like a time thing. Like, I. You're at work at six thirty in the morning. You no. just so you're talking. You're saying that you don't like to get I'm, early in the morning. I'm like just that. saying, if I sent you a really long text and you got it at ten thirty in the yeah. morning, you were working, uh-huh. you wouldn't respond to me right away. You'd probably just give me a love you. What if I what if I just um, wrote those, but I never can give them to you? Would that matter to you? Um, like, let's just say, like, well, I wrote how them. How would I know? Well, I wouldn't. You wouldn't know. Mm. I would just be writing them for myself. Like, they were a journal. At the end of the year, I give them all to you once. I would never read those. I know. I did it already once, and you didn't read them. But I'm just saying, like, what if I did that and it was just for myself anyways? Like, don't even send them to you. Do you do it Do you, do you do because it it's just part of your morning and it makes you feel good? Um, it's part of living the warrior's way, which is make deposits into your family's life. And part of that is communicating how you feel because men don't typically know how to express their feelings. So uh, that's how we do part of the core four, which is my message, message, message. Okay. That's how Parker's back in my world. He didn't respond to any of my text messages for six months. Do you send him long texts I like do, that? every single day. And does he send you a paragraph back? He does now. A paragraph back every morning? No, he sends me back messages every single morning. Okay. But, uh, I feel like we should move on from this talk today. Well, the show's ending, so that's good. Because <laughs> oh we got to go. We literally don't have any more time to do any more of the show. <clears throat> so we're on this. Like the, the entire summary of this, as you can tell, inside of this show with us, we're still working on this too, which is the ability to actually communicate and understand the language of our partner. And inside of that, choosing to do two things. One, to appreciate the language that they receive in. Two, to learn that we give in the language that the people we're married to receive. So in my world, I had to start learning that it was okay to buy my wife shit. Like it was. It was a very hard thing for me. I was like, why does, how does this make me more valuable as a husband when I buy her gifts? Can I say something on the note really, really fast? Because sometimes too, like when in buying me a gift, I don't know if it's like, I also want you, like this was something from, because I could buy my own handbag or shoes or whatever, I ultimately like felt like I had to like submit a little bit and like let you buy me stuff. So, because I like wanted you to be the man. Mm -hmm. And so I had to. But you actually wanted me to buy you stuff. It wasn't even about getting the gift. It was the act. It was like yeah, but even having then, somebody wash. But even then, in the beginning, I felt like you were kind of bugged that you to buy it, and it was hard for you. And so I was like, it's I was cool. bugged by so it. So I was like, it's thing. cool. I'll like buy my own gifts for myself. Right. It's fine. I'm fine with that. And then there was this point where we were both kind of crossing the line and trying to make it like meet each other's love languages and whatnot. And part of me trying to meet your love languages is like, as women, like not cut your balls off and not try to like, just trying to like. 
I want like a husband to be the man, but I'm like kind of like I don't know. I'm not like allowing him to spoil me maybe or buy me things. But it, but uh, honestly, it was because in the beginning I felt like you were doing it grudgingly. So you kind of dropped that like mm-hmm. attitude and kind of crossed the line for me. And then I started to kind of trust that, and I was like, okay, well then it was and this is like a silly example but you get it like then it was like you would buy stuff for me and i'm like thank you and you're like you're welcome and it was like all of a sudden both of our needs were kind of being met do you know what i mean and it was both of us were kind of trying to like cross the line and Mm -hmm. that still kind of happens now like there's times where it's like we'll be arguing about a topic or whatever and then it's like one of us has to kind of just reach over to the other side and then it reciprocates so that's how we're gonna end the show okay cross the line okay Share the one share the one tip um, that we're gonna give them for date night this week on crossing the line. So the, the line. one tip, like oftentimes what's hard for me is I find myself being like, No, he fucking worked every night. He didn't cross the line at all for me. So I'm like, screw you, I'm not gonna cross the line either. And that doesn't really get you anywhere. So oftentimes I have to like kinda like just be like, nah, just cross the line and see what happens. So for me, it might be like words of affirmation. It might be like, hey, let's just have sex right now. Like you just got done working, like we're gonna have sex right now and it's just like little things where i feel like i'm having to cross the line in order to kind of just like i don't know make it cross the line like just make it a little bit more peaceful in your home so for women out there what is it that your husband's love language is and how can you cross the line a little bit and vice versa for men beautiful it's a great that was a great ending <laughs> there we go great job okay that takes conclusion here again if you have not checked out a new new king's kit that we have available found at warriorbook.com this is the newest process inside of wake up warrior leading men uh for the same investment you get in the warrior book you're also going to get 30 days of training and access to our full networks and software we'd love to give you that chance head on over to warriorbook.com for all of the women who have been following us and are inside of the fashion or styling world you can head on over to dkwstyling.com and learn more about danielle thanks so much for being here all of our show notes tip training and action guides are available every single week at dateyourwifenow.com. As for us, we're actually off to go cook some Mexican food at the Cinco de Mayo cooking party. All right, we're out of here. We'll talk to you guys next week.